We're starting to see more patients with pretty severe uh, pneumonias, pulmonary reactions as a result of what we believe to be vaping. One Monday I just woke up and I was just feeling really sick and I just thought like I was coming down with a cold or something. And started getting on chest pain, it was hard to breathe, um, you know, it was coughing and we just kind of figured it was some bug. Some people have been quite ill, other, people's have, other people have been less ill and I think our big concern is that we just don't have a good sense of what exactly in these vaping products are causing these illnesses. So my roommates both vaped and I went and bought one that day because I was like, this is so cool. And then all of us were just constantly vaping. We were told that it was harmless and that it was fine to vape way better than smoking cigarettes. In at least four patients that we've recognized, we've seen uh, what we think is something called lipoid pneumonia, which is a type of pneumonia that's inflammation within the lungs and when we do procedures where we go in to see what type of cells are down there, we're seeing um, a fair amount of lipid or fat in the lungs. So it was, you know, kind of the cool thing to do. I had some friends that were doing it. I ended up getting lipoid pneumonia from vaping. It turned into acute respiratory distress syndrome, um, which ended up in my lungs failing, um, total lung failure, and I ended up on life support because of it. Uh, I think we, like everyone else, dismissed the hazards of vaping because uh, you know there's a, there's a push to perceive it as a safer alternative to smoking and uh, because we're so early in the uh, increasing use of these products which are very which are varied and not regulated by the FDA and we don't know what's contained within many of the oils. The vaping apparatus often labels as how much nicotine is on it, which we know is an addicting substance, it's in cigarettes, but that's for the most part what is labeled. And the, we don't think the nicotine is what's causing damage to these people's lungs. It would be very helpful to know what else is in here so we can, we can put forth regulations, we can counsel patients, we can provide different therapies, we just don't know right now. I'm really mad at myself because I'm like, Aubrey, like, you're a nursing student. You know anything that goes into your lungs is bad. What are you doing? <laughs> um, and just, I should have looked more into it. I used it just because it was cool. <laughs> you know, we, all, we can all make our own choices. If we know the dangers of it, but people don't know the dangers of vaping, and that's what I'm trying to show people. I would strongly advise people not to smoke anything. So don't smoke cigarettes, don't smoke e-cigarettes, don't smoke marijuana, don't smoke anything. Because there can just be really severe reactions like this that we may not recognize.